Hello and welcome to a gameplay for seasons. Now on today's Hogwarts Legacy video, I want to talk to you about ancient magic. Now we do have a definition of what ancient magic is, so I'm going to go through that. And I also want to go through a few examples of what the ancient magic might potentially be and what your thoughts on it are as well, because we have had a poll around this on this channel. Now, why am I talking about ancient magic and not maybe a leak or something like that that's happened recently? Well, I'm not sure about you, but for me, I'm a little bit all leaked out from all the various things that are happening around Hogwarts Legacy. Why do I say that? I say that because it turns out that a lot of the leaks are not actually leaks at all, but they're just people saying things. The recent few weeks, we've had various leaks come out. Some have been positive, some have been negative, and some of them have already been disproven. And at this point, a lot of it sounds a little bit like guesswork. I mean, obviously, we've had the recent thing around artwork. Again, whether or not that's true, I have no opinion. But people obviously are trying to link that to a release date of Hogwarts Legacy. And yes, you can potentially try and do that. And it may well be correct. But for me, I just want to hear something really official and not have so much rumour and conjecture around it. For me, what I want to focus on in this video is around the element of the game, which is ancient magic. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up with all the goings on with Harry Potter and when we hear something official, because I'll be bringing all of that to you. And in the meantime, we'll be having other discussions about things such as this around ancient magic. So hit that button. Do let me know if you agree with me that you're a little bit all leaked out and you're just wasting for those official sources. Maybe it's just me, but let's go back onto ancient magic. So I mentioned that ancient magic has a definition out there. There's various different places you can see this. If you go to the Harry Potter lexicon, which is a good website if you want to know about specific Harry Potter things. And if we look at ancient magic, we have this definition, which is ancient magic is a magic which happens independently of efforts by wizards, an effect which is triggered by events and powers endemic to the nature of reality. It is extremely old and mysterious and a wand is not necessary for it to work. It is part of the magicalness of the universe. Examples include the bond of love, which happens when someone sacrifices themselves for another, and the inherent magical resistance in the skin of dragons and giants. Ancient magic is studied in the Department of Mysteries. Now, what does that sound like? Well, that very much sounds like the very beginning of Harry Potter, where we have, obviously, the whole Voldemort, Harry Potter parents, and the lightning scar. That's probably all I need to say for anyone watching this video to know exactly what I'm referring to. But it was obviously this ancient magic which stopped Voldemort at that time because of the bond of love between Lily and Harry and the sacrifice she made. But obviously that is just one example of ancient magic, else there wouldn't be that much to study for the Department of Mysteries. Now we had a poll a few weeks back around this and a lot of you have had your opinion, which is great to see. And it's around what do you think is most likely that ancient magic might be? Now, first off, we've got it means that you can do magic than others can't do, which is the front runner. 45% of you have said that's what you think most likely ancient magic might be, which is an interesting one. Is that slightly differs from the description which I've just read, which isn't really about magic you do, but magic endemic to everything around you. So it's not that you can do something. The suggestion here would be there's something within you that allows you to do something else. Differs from that almost accidental magic or the inherent magic within dragons. Maybe it's like that. Maybe within their skin, they have an inherent magic. So we have an inherent magic about us and we can do something they can't. Now, the second one, and to me, I think this is potentially quite likely. I think the ancient magic might mean that we can access hidden areas around Hogwarts that others can't. Now, 10% of you thought this was the most likely thing that we'd be able to do. Now, Hogwarts is obviously going to be fascinating to explore. There's going to be loads of areas. I think that is obvious. And to have hidden areas and secret areas in the castle is going to happen anyway, because we know that's part of the castle. But to have extra places that just you can go because you have something special about you, I think would be fun and I think it gives them opportunity to have things we haven't seen in Harry Potter and in other parts of the wisdom world so far. So I think that's a highly likely one. Now this next one only got 1%, it means you can do the same magic as others but better. I mean that's not that exciting is it? If you can just do the same as everyone else you just happen to be a bit better than them. All that would really do would make the game a little bit easy if you're just so much better than everyone else. So may they do that, they might do it but is it the most likely? To me maybe not. Now, again, similar to the fact I think you'll be able to go to hidden areas that others can't, 
I think personally, we know we're going to come in year five. I am not necessarily expecting that you've gone to a magical school before. I feel like this is going to be the start of your magical experience and your magical journey. So I think we are just going into year five because nobody knew we were magic until now. And the fact we're ancient magic, I think there may be some sort of protection on us or someone put protection on us in order to do that. So I think it's going to be linked either directly to the ancient magic or as a protection against ancient magic. I think when we find out why you're a fifth year, I think it's ancient magic is going to play a big part in that. And the very last one is it's a branch of wandless magic. Now, if you look at that description that I read before, it does say that it is generally wandless. But again, that relies on the fact that it's something endemic. But does it allow you something wandless within you to do more things with your wand, which potentially could be the case. Now, if we have a look at some of the comments we've got here, we've got lots of interesting ones here. Hi, IQ Warrior said, similar to what I was talking about around going to magical areas, that you can perceive ancient magic in your surroundings. Again, I completely agree with them. It would tie nicely to the exploration narrative that this game's obviously going to have. Now, we've got another one from Joshua here who said that Wallace Magic would be good, but wouldn't that kind of make it almost the same as every other magic system game? And that is a pretty good point, isn't it? So will they heavily go for the fact you can do magic without using your wand? Probably not, because it distracts away from the fact of what Hogwarts is supposed to be, which is you learning. We know it's a school. We know it's a school environment. You learning how to use your wand. So yes, there might be some magic outside of using a wand, which is probably perception, similar to what we just said. But in terms of pure just doing magic without a wand, probably not. Now, the Nox has said that they have feeling it could be an Animagus type, like being a dragon. And they've pointed out that in the trailer, we see a dragon fly that in his Hogwarts, which seems to them a bit unusual. Do I think we'll be able to turn to a dragon? Probably not. It seems a bit big, a bit hard to contain. But who knows? Until we know more details of the game, I suppose anything could be possible. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like it if you have. Let me know any opinions you've got, and I'll see you in the next video.